Hello all, welcome back to Oro 17 development tutorial. Today, in this video, let us discuss about the basic views in Oro 17. Views defines the way by which the models or objects are displayed to the end users. The views are of several types. Each view represents a mode of visualization. They make the module more user-friendly and can vary according to the need. Oro provides different types of views like Tree view, form view, calendar view, graph view, etc. So let's check how can we create these views in Auto 17. For that, let's go to the pipe tab. And in the pipe tab, here you can see that I've already created the custom module that is college management, and also I've created a model for it. You can see that the model that is student doc record. Here also I have added some fields like admission date, first name, last name, father, mother, phone, email, etc. And here you can see that in the views, I have also already created an XML file that is student record, record, uh, student record view XML file. And also, I have defined this XML file in the manifest. Here you can see, I have defined the XML file or added the XML file in the manifest at inside the data. Here, let's, so let's go to the XML file. To create a uh, view, first of all, we need to uh, add the record tag. And in the record tag, we need to uh, pass a unique ID. So here you can see that I have passed a unique ID to the view. So this is currently the form view. Here you can see I have created main views. That is form view, clean view, calendar view, graph view, etc. So here you can see I have passed a unique ID here. After that, I have added the name for the view. Sorry, uh, I have added the name for the form view. And then here you can see I have added the model then. Here you can see the model, the created model that is student box record. If we check the UI under inside the setting, uh, inside the uh, technical menu, uh, you can see a user interface. You can see views here. So I'm clicking here the views here. You can see all the views, whether tree view, Kanban view, uh, form view, etc. All the views can be seen here. So here you can see the view name, type, model and their external ID and if it is inherited view, you can see the inherited view here. So let's check the view that we have created that is student. So here you can see that uh, you can see that for the model student.record, I have created main views that is form view, tree view, calendar view, graph view. You can see the types here and here you can see the name. So here you can see the name that I have given in the XML file that is student.record.form here. So, uh, Next, uh, here you can see that uh, in the models, you have defined the model here. After defining the model, I have just added the form tag. You can see the form tag. Inside the form tag, I have added the sheet. And inside the sheet, I have defined the groups or defined the fields here. So I have separated the uh, fields to two sides. You can see that uh, once I have separated it by grouping. So here you can see that. Uh, the, I have added the groups and after adding the group, I have added the fields here. So here you can see the field. So if we check the UI, so let's check the UI here. Here you can see that uh, the fields are separated or grouped to two sides. So for that purpose, I have added the group tag. So here you can see this is the form view. And here you can see the uh, names or I have separated it. So you can see the fields, the different fields that I've added in the form view can be seen here. And this is how we create the form view. And uh, in the case of tree view also, we have passed a unique ID for A and then and added the name. So you can see the name here that is view.student.record.tree. And after that, we have added the uh, model, which, to, which model this particular view represents or view belongs to has been added here. And after that, we have added the tree tag. And inside the tree tag, we have defined or we have mentioned the fields, the fields that we need inside the tree. So here you can see some of the fields that I've added. So here you can see the first name, admission date, form, email. And if we check the UI, uh, in the UI, here you can see that the first name, admission date, and form, email. So this is how we create the a treat view. So here you can see we on adding the tree tag, we can uh, just add the fields here. So the next one is calendar view. And in the case of calendar view, see we have passed a unique ID to the record. 
so here you can see the uh, unique id i have passed and after that i have added the name and then i have mentioned the model and after that i have just added the calendar tag and i have inside the calendar tag i have just mentioned or uh, passed the strings and uh, their mode whether monthly or year have for the calendar i have just mentioned it and the date of start the start has been mentioned so i have added the field here that is uh, my field admission date so based on the admission date uh, the record will be added to the uh, calendar view and uh, i've added the field uh, in uh, in what name it should be added or the field i have added here so if we check the calendar view so here it's a calendar view and here you can see that i have created a record that is for agil and here you can see the field name that is first name and i've added and it's uh, based on the admission date so i have added the admission date is 16 i think so here you can see the i have added the admission date is 16 so based on that date the record is added in that particular calendar uh, so this is how we create the calendar view and the next one is graph view in the case of graph view simply a case that is i've added and i have i have uh, passed a uh, id to the a unique id to the record and after that i have added the name and the model here then i have called the graph tag here you can see that i have added the graph tag and also i have added the field here and after that i have added the fields that is first name uh, and field uh, that is uh, in based on field that is mark and uh, based on which this uh, graph should be that is the type i have mentioned it as measure so for the mark i have uh, added the type as measure and if we check the ui so i have not added the mark for the student so let's add the mark that is and let's check the graph so here you can see based on the mark that is previous mark that is type measure based on the previous mark the student name first name as the student name and in the x-axis you can see the uh, first name that is the first name or student name and in the y-axis that the measure that type measure that is the mark has been added to the y-axis here so this is how we create the graph view and uh, these views needs to be mentioned in the action. So here you can see that I have created an action for this. Uh, I have added an action for this menu. And inside the action here you can see I have mentioned the unique ID and the name and also the type also. And I have added the view modes. All these modes or uh, these views I have added to the action here. Here you can see the tree new, uh, form, calendar, graph. And we, I have added in it. Uh, in an array, I have arranged it in an according to the need. So first, I need to uh, view the tree view. Then inside that, I will need to form view. Then uh, I have just given the priority for it. So if we give the calendar view at the first, then we uh, on opening the uh, module first of all, we will be able to see the calendar view. So for that purpose, I've added the tree view here. And then I have added the menu item. I've created the menu for this particular student record. So here you can see the menu I have added and mentioned the ID, name and uh, the parent that is the parent menu. I have mentioned the parent menu and also the action that the action that I have just created here. I have added the action here and also the added the sequence here. This is how we create a view in Photo 17. Thank you.